Hello there friends and followers, Happy New Year and welcome to my very first video in 2021. Today I wanted to show you a, a few tweaks that I've done uh, to my PC that has uh, really helped with performance and I thought that I share with you guys those tweaks. Those tweaks are um, essentially things to do with Windows as well as the NVIDIA control panel and I have actually gained anywhere between 10 to 15 FPS which is significant both in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator and x 11. It also has really uh, reduced the stuttering in Microsoft Flight Simulator and completely eliminated the stuttering in x 11. So without further ado, let's get started. We are currently situated at London City Airport. This is the Orbex scenery of London City Airport. And we are sitting here at runway 27. As you can see, we are getting about 38 FPS or so. And we can also see that we are overclocking the CPU to uh, 5.1 gigahertz. Uh, you can also see the temperatures both on the CPU and the GPU. As you may uh, already know, I am running the i9 10900K with 128 GB of RAM and the RTX 3090 graphics card. So what we're going to do, and by the way, the tweaks that I'm going to show you in this video should work with any PC and you should be able to get some performance gains. Now those performance gains will vary from system to system, but I'm pretty sure uh, that you will gain something uh, out of those tweaks. So first thing I want to do is I want to release the parking brake and I want to take the aircraft just so that we monitor the performance. As you can see, it is pretty smooth. There is absolutely no stuttering, although, you know, it, the frame rate is fluctuating. Uh, now, of course, I've picked London City Airport with the London scenery by Orbex because this area is quite involved in terms of the scenery. We're going to bring up the clouds just to see if there is any effect on performance. But as you can see so far, the performance is rock solid, very, very smooth uh, here in the interior. Uh, of the aircraft uh, let me see here let me pan if you pan the camera again very very smooth no jitters no stuttering whatsoever and by the way if you do see any stutters that's probably from the uh, from the recording uh, but I'm experiencing zero stutters and zero jitters as you can see here just really very very smooth and a very nice area to fly around let's switch to external view and take a look And as you can see here, a beautiful scene ahead. Now, of course, we're getting more FPS uh, as we go. And let me just show you very quickly my settings. So we are gonna go to uh, general here. As you can see, VSync is off. And you can see that all the, uh, of course, the resolution of this video is 3440 uh, by uh, 1440. Uh, I'm using an ultra wide uh, monitor. Uh, which is the Dell Alienware. Uh, Anti-aliasing, you can see everything here is on ultra. Uh, the texture super sampling, anthroscopic filtering, everything is on ultra. Shadows, everything is set to maximum or on, um, except for lens correction and lens flare. Uh, those are uh, things I don't like. Um, glass cockpit refresh rate is set to low, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it to high and I'm gonna apply just so that you can see everything exactly uh, at the maximum settings right now. And as you can see now, no degradation in performance. We're getting about 38, 40 FPS, very, very smooth uh, as we uh, fly around the dome here at Canary Wharf. Absolutely stunning scene. 
and performance wise is just phenomenal Again, absolutely no stuttering whatsoever all right so I'm gonna introduce just some clouds just so that I uh, so that you guys can see that the clouds will not affect performance whatsoever you see an initial drop and then the frames kind of recover again and as you can see this is a marvelous scene here of uh, London and uh, the London eye is just right ahead somewhere right over there and as you can see again we are maintaining very solid FPS uh, the scene itself is pretty smooth as you can see and as I pan around uh, we get no stuttering whatsoever all right so what we're gonna do is first thing we are gonna take a look at the Nvidia control panel I'm gonna show you the settings that I've done both for Microsoft Flight Simulator and Xplane 11 and then I'm gonna show you a couple of Windows related items uh, just to make sure that you set them properly so that you can get those performance gains the first thing we're going to take a look at today is the NVIDIA control panel settings that I've set for both Microsoft Flight Simulator and Xplane 11. And what you need to do is you need to launch the NVIDIA control panel and we're going to go to manage 3D settings. Then we're going to go to program settings. As you can see, Xplane is selected. And there are a couple of things we want to make sure that we do. For power management mode, make sure that you select prefer maximum performance. And then for texture filtering quality, also make sure that you select high performance. This is pretty much what I've done here as far as the NVIDIA control panel uh, are, is concerned. And I've done the same thing, by the way, for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, so let's see here. Where is Microsoft Flight Simulator? Microsoft Flight Simulator. There we go. So that's Microsoft Flight Simulator. And as you can see, I have set exactly the same um, uh, the same options here for power management, prefer maximum performance, and texture filtering quality on high performance. Now, once you have, what, this will probably give you uh, somewhere between three to four FPS or so, but the big thing is actually game mode. So if we go to uh, game, let me see here, game mode, game mode settings. Now, I have seen a lot of videos where people recommend that you turn game mode on and believe it or not with game mod off I've gained about another five to six FPS uh, on average both in Microsoft Flight Simulator and Explain 11 so make sure definitely that you turn off game mode I think it's got a lot of issues and it causes some stuttering and things like that so that's another thing that you might want to turn off. Uh, it did wonders for me, so uh, you might want to go ahead and try it. Now, another big thing that was actually causing a lot of stutters, even in X-Plane, was this. So let's go to display settings. And then from the display settings, you want to scroll down to graphic settings and make sure that hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned off. Now, this one, uh, this was a big, uh, it was turned on when uh, by default, uh, I'm not sure why, uh, but when I turned this off, I actually gained, um, I didn't gain performance, so it's not, it did not help FPS, but it did help the stuttering quite a bit, and things started running a lot smoother in both simulators. So I'm going to launch um, X-Plane 11 and just show you uh, the smoothness of the sim, uh, similar to what we did with uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. All right, folks, we have now launched X-Plane 11 and uh, we are clocking 46 FPS here in the external view. We are at Brussels, by the way, uh, Echo Bravo Bravo Romeo. And of course, you can see all the numbers here. We are going to be flying the Marchetti, uh, which is by Javier Roland, a uh, great aircraft, uh, if you ask me. Uh, but today we are not going to uh, be talking about the aircraft, but we're going to be talking about the performance. Now, just very quickly, here are the X-Plane settings that I am running. Uh, as you can see, I have 
the draw shadow on scenery ticked, uh, of course, uh, ticked on. And we are using the Vulcan drivers. This is uh, X-Plane 11.51, uh, release candidate one, I believe. And uh, you, the anti-aliasing is set to four, 16, high. Number of world objects is maximum. Reflection details is turned off. We are gonna take off and we're gonna take a look at the effect of these, uh, but the performance is actually pretty good. I'm very pleased with it. It's very smooth here, as you can see, uh, as I pan around the camera. So let's go ahead and take off. Now this uh, aircraft is equipped with the reality expansion pack, uh, but you can see now how smooth it is. All right, here we go. Let's give it full power. Yeah, it doesn't want us to do full power. That's the REP package. But nonetheless, uh, we're gonna do that. All right, 60 knots, rotate. And as you can see, a very smooth simulator here. God, I love X-Plane 11. Just, it feels so realistic uh, as you battle the wind to keep the aircraft straight in the air. Very, very smooth external view. As you can see, this is a very, very smooth flight. Uh, we can bring back the... Uh, we can put everything on maximum. And we are still getting about 25, 26 FPS. And by the way, if you just change the reflections here and turn that off, you will gain some. And if we uh, change the anti-aliasing, uh, you will gain some as well. So if we change this back here, you don't need anything more than that in my view, as you can see now, healthy FPS really healthy FPS, about 41, 43 FPS, which is very, very reasonable. Now, one thing in X-Plane uh, we want to do is uh, we want to come down here and we want to change the time and just look at that. A very nice uh, scene. as you can see it's fantastic here's a look at the external view so as you can see here uh, major performance gains about 10 to 15 fps on average in both simulators in different settings uh, which are pretty near the maximum settings in both simulator microsoft flight simulator of course we're running absolutely maximum settings and getting very decent fps with x-plane um, i had to turn down the anti-aliasing and the reflections uh, to in order to get reasonable fps uh, but i'm pretty pleased with those performance gains and the most important thing is that uh, regardless of the FPS, the experience itself is pretty smooth, as you can see. And this is uh, quite a gorgeous scene here in uh, X-Plane 11 near the Brussels, uh, Brussels airport. As you can see there, looks absolutely fantastic. Well, folks, this pretty much brings us to the conclusion of uh, this video. I hope that you have found this video to be useful and informative. And I sure do hope that those performance tweaks will help you as well as much as they've helped me. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other. And I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.